Good morning, Knights. Happy Friday. Welcome to NDTV. Today is March 11th, and I am your anchor, Grace Foreman, bringing you your morning news show. Some upcoming stories include a recap of the Spring Fling Dance presented by ASB and a look at what has been going on during lunch in the quad. Plus, we have a special announcement from Mr. Thomas regarding COVID-19. We also have an oldie but goodie about couples and best friends. Stay tuned, Knights. We're just getting started. Welcome to Night News. As most of you know, March is National Women's Month, and we wanted to spotlight a special softball player who has been playing since her freshman year. She is already committed to Oklahoma. Plus, campus dances are back. Junior ASB planned an incredible spring fling dance. Ella Parker knew from the age of five that she wanted to play softball and she wanted to play for the Knights. Junior Ella Parker has been playing softball since five and has played for ND for the past three years. Her love for the sport has earned her a scholarship next year at the University of Oklahoma. I had the opportunity to ask Ella a few questions about her love for softball. What do you enjoy the most about playing softball? Well, I love playing as a team and just competing for your teammates and um, just getting better every day, I guess. Do you have a role model of the sport or any other sport? And if so, why are they your role model? I'd say Odyssey Alexander and Ken Griffey Jr. have played very big parts of my life because they not only competed for just to, they had the competitive drive to win, but they played for their teammates. And no matter what the situation was, they always persevered and worked their hardest to get where they are. How has being a female athlete shaped you as a person? Well, being a female athlete has definitely empowered me to become a leader and just the outreach I have with coaches and players. It's forced me to um, kind of communicate more with each other, with one another, and that's really helped me. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Ella, and NDTV wishes you the best of luck next year as you continue to play. This is Chiara Santo Pietro reporting for NDTV. That's at 31, 2, 3, nine. Nine. Notre Dame's first spring fling dance took place last Saturday on our very own campus. The theme was under the sea and ASV decorated the gym to match. Students showed up in casual yet dressy attire to hang out with their friends and have a good time. There was a live DJ who played great music and students were able to dance the night away with their friends. ASB provided fun games for students to play when they wanted a break from dancing. Hope everyone had a great time at the dance. This is Taylor Tan reporting for NDTV. Wow, Ella, you're an amazing player. NDTV would like to wish you and the rest of your team in a great season. The dance looked like so much fun. We are so happy to have dances back and we can't wait for prom. On another note, the intramural basketball games were a big hit. These boys definitely bought out as we got to experience different skill levels and friends come together to play a friendly game. Let's see what the players have to say. Good morning, Knights, and welcome to NDTV. This next story should make you bounce with excitement as we introduce the intramural basketball games. These boys definitely balled out as we got to experience different skill levels and different friends come together and play a friendly game. All right, let's, let's look at what we got going on here, all right? Top of the key, this guy. Oh, he's pretty good. I saw him. He has some handles. I, I don't know what the heck what that was. Pass that went nowhere. I'm not going to lie. That was, 
A straight out of bounds. Pass into to shapes and sounds. Hot streak turned to it. Oh, and white hoodies all over. <laughs> white polos everywhere. Over on this side, we have a. Uh, we have some juniors versus another senior team. Patrick Grazer playing defense on Johnny Massera, a junior. Oh, a shoe came off. Oh, and he made the shot. Patrick Grazer, Justin Berkowitz, and Enrique Fleischman, all senior football players on this team. Another shot from Patrick off three. And he used the bank. The bank is open. Cha-ching. Great shot. He's going to do some work at the top of the key. He's looking for a shot. Puts it up. Great shot by Charlie Downey. His stroke is wet right now. Looks like the underclassmen have the ball. Matthew Indoso. Oh, Matthew! Matthew Indoso. Now is the time for the other class. Let's see what Charlie Downey can do. Oh! Hello, my name is Ian. I'm with NDTV today. I'm here with uh with Jacob Rincon and Luca Mignano. Yeah, they're the team. They play for the LA Lakers. We just saw a uh, slightly uneventful game going on. Uh, what are your thoughts? How do you guys think you played? I think we played good defensively. I was Rodman. He was MJ. And we got Pippen over. All right. Uh. I think there's a total of two points scored overall. All right, NDTV, you've uh, seen it first. We're here with your very own king of the castle and Mr. Presidente Woo! himself. Um, so, boys, uh, tell me about your team. Who was on your team? So we got we got Charlie Downey. We got Nicholas Kolesnikow. Right over here, we got Jack Pearson and myself. Um, who would you say was your biggest competitor? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't even know their names. <laughs> what was the most fun you've had so far? Just being together as a team yeah. with the boys. Just being crushing it. Awesome. Awesome. Love Thanks, it. guys. All right, Knights. I hope you feel as baller as those boys did or didn't after this show, and stay tuned for more. I'm Ava McCumber-Gandera reporting for NDTV. I hope you feel like ballers as those boys did. Stay tuned for more as the games continue to happen in the quad. As we ease back into normal life at California and in school, we have a special announcement from Mr. Thomas regarding COVID-19. And now, a message from Mr. Thomas. Good morning, Notre Dame. It's Monday, March 7th, 2022. And in COVID news... Wow, what just happened? That was crazy. I think our ND TV just got hijacked by our very own ND Joker. Who knows what his antics might bring next? Anyway, have you ever wanted to know who knew someone better, their significant other, or their best friend? Well, let's take a look as we watch the best friend versus the boyfriend or girlfriend. Hey Knights, today we interviewed two groups in the sophomore and junior classes. We asked questions to a student's best friend and their boyfriend or girlfriend. Let's see who knows them better. Hi, my name is Drake Seastrand. This is my girlfriend Emerson. This is my best friend Alex. Uh, me and Emerson have been dating about three months now, and I've known Alex since freshman year. Hi, I'm Grace. This is my boyfriend, Max. We've been dating for four months. And this is my best friend, Jade. We've been best friends since preschool. What are Drake's parents' names? Yes. No, you stole my dad's name wrong. wrong. Jen Dog and Mr. Mayor. What is Grace's biggest pet peeve? Max. Stop it. 
didn't think of anything. <laughs> Bro, ever since you did not know that. What age was Drake when he had his first kiss? What is Drake's middle name? <laughs> Next question. Who was Grace's first Notre Dame crush? <laughs> Getting nervous around guys. Okay. Like Jared. I, I think he still makes you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Drake's celebrity crush? Overtime Megan? Yes. What the? I'm pushing Pete. Are we done? We hope you enjoyed this new segment. This is Devin Skabinski signing out for NDT. Wow, wasn't that interesting to see? I didn't know who was going to win, but I was honestly rooting for the best friend. Well, that is our show for this week, Knights. We hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Grace Foreman, and as we close, we wanted to let you know that we have an amazing story on the Knight Online publication, which you can reach at ndhsmedia.com. Have a great weekend, Knights.